Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Iborn Stellar, coming at you with another video. This time, it's, uh, once again, FGOJP. Now, my last video was about how easy it is to use Habitrots. Well, if you're in JP, you can use her. NA, you'll be getting her, I think, after uh, LB6 ends. So, probably sometime in July, she'll be coming out in the uh, Fempoint Gacha. But... Um, like I said in that video, she's amazing. If you're free to play or just want a really strong farmer for bond points or mats or pretty much anything, um, she'll be coming out soon and she's amazing and she's great. Uh, go watch that other video that I you know, made a, you know, probably a few hours or days ago that I uploaded and go check it out because she's really strong and she's great. Anyway, for this video, I'll be showing you guys the, you know, Buster meta, right? So uh, as you know, or may not know, I guess, uh, Koyanskaya, which is uh, Tamamovich, as we used to know her. You know, she's the uh, fluffy tail Tamamo face that's been causing trouble all throughout, you know, the story and the Lost Bells, you know, in part two, if you've uh, been caught up with it. And she's, um, you know, she's very cute, you know, she's very attractive, but she's also really good as a support, right? Especially in Buster teams. You know, used to be the buster, used to be, you know, just like the, uh, oh, Onga Bunga, you know, big peepee -pee damage, you know, whatever, right? But it wasn't really um, consistent or, you know, effective to quote-unquote farm with them because you had to use, like, you know, K-scopes or other types of CEs to, you know, let you have, a, you know, 50% MP charge for your servant, you know, with like a CE plus the other, you know, skill from, from you know, like Ishtar or... Anyone that has like a 50%, you know, own MP battery, right? To make that work. Now with Koyanskaya, that becomes easier because she's able to uh, reduce cooldowns. She has, you know, the huge battery of 50% she can just give out to anybody. So use two of her, instant 100%. Plus, with Oberon, the damage you can do with those two characters, plus a strong DPS like Arhuna Alter, Morgan, you know, and anybody else really, like Gilgamesh even. Um, their damage just goes through the roof. Oh yeah, Melusine especially, especially, which I'm going to be showing here today. Um, so yeah, I'll be showing you guys Arhuna Altar and Melusine. Um, freaking Fairy Knight, um, uh, not Tracen, Lancelot. And uh, I'll be showing her. And uh, once again, at my favorite spot here in Camelot. Which uh, still... It's still the same, you know, the best place for uh, the best place for farming bomb points. So uh, that's what we do around here. <coughs> Excuse me. So here we go. Of course, this phone, I keep saying it's really old. And uh, oh, look at that. Level 100 MP5. Um, woo, that's uh, interesting. But actually, we're in the wrong tab. We don't want no stinking casters. We want assassins. And there she is. Uh, Koyanskaya with uh, the Rice C, which is the Bond C, which 15%, right? Now, the only trouble or issue, I guess, uh, with this theme is the, as you can see, we have five Bond Point CEs, right? Which is, it's cool, right? Six would be better, which is where, where you know, Habit Rods or like, um, I don't know if you saw my uh, NA um, video with Space Ishtar. They can easily, you know, our team can easily do six uh, CE teams and, you know, be able to loop and do all that. Whatever, right? Uh, Castoria is Im just so imbalanced, you know, overpowered, whatever, right? But Buster teams tend to do more damage than them, right? So actually they're more consistent. <coughs> oh my God, my voice just went away there for a second. But uh, you do need to give up at least one CE to make this whole thing work. But... You know, it's the cost of, you know, having so much damage, I guess. So, as you can see, I have double Koyanskaya with um, uh, Hunalter in the middle. And the C that I'm using, it's called Cranking. Now, this one's actually not coming out for uh, maybe another year or so. So, if you want, you can use Aerial Drive instead of uh, this one. Uh, this C, uh, it's very similar, similar to Aerial Drive. So, um, I can't speak Japanese, but I have the, uh, the effect um, here on my second screen. It gives you 50% uh, MP charge, you know, starting MP. So, that's exactly like uh, Aerial Drive, right? Now, the difference is all about the numbers on, on the two other effects. 
So uh, the Buster card uh, on this one on cranking is uh, 8%. In aerial drive is 10. So technically, technically aerial drive does you know a little bit more for Buster specifically, but cranking is a little bit better because uh, this one gives 15% more MP damage. Meanwhile, aerial drive only gives 10. So let's combine the two, right? 10 Buster and then 10 uh, MP. For aerial drive, that's 20% extra damage, right? If you wanna combine it. Meanwhile, cranking does eight plus 15, so it does a total of 23 extra damage, right? So technically, I would say cranking does uh, give more damage uh, to, you know, whoever is using it, right? And as you can see, both of them are actually uh, full on attack. You know, they give only attack, they don't give HP. So uh, they're both very comparable. I would say cranking is better. And uh, you, uh, we're gonna be getting this CE, <clears throat> I believe next year, uh, I think, in a uh, event with uh, Paul Bunyan. And it's actually free, so you don't have to roll for it. You know, just like aerial drive, thankfully. And it's a really good CE for farming and I would definitely recommend it for uh, Buster teams, you know, with the new meta. Uh, so yeah, I got double Koyanskoya, I got Oberon in the back, and I got two one-star, you know, servants just holding C's, just, you know, just to make this happen. I got the new uh, Mystic Code over here, the new uh, Plug Suit, which I believe we get at the end of LB6, I think, maybe in the middle. I actually don't recall, like, when exactly we get this, uh, this new um, Mystic Code, but it's actually a really good one. I would highly recommend, you know, as soon as you get it, just start using it because it takes a long time to get this to bond level or, you know, to level 10, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it. Let's get started. <coughs> oh, man. Recording these videos back to back uh, might not have been the best idea, but I want to I want to get them done. You know, I love making videos on YouTube. So um, that's what we're doing. Uh, loading, 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 as always takes uh, a good while, because this phone is really old. I definitely need a new one, but uh, it still works, you know, I'm able to, uh, I actually made a JP account to be able to uh, buy uh, the cords that I need for the, 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 what, the DSSR? Yeah, the DSSR. <laughs> I don't know why I, I had a brain fart there for a second. But uh, yeah, because, you know, Google changed the rules of being able to buy things internationally because, you know, they're a bunch of, uh, I don't know, I guess they don't want money. Anyway, uh, so here we go. Activate. Well, actually, I can face card this first one. But let's just do, you know, three MPs because why not? I got to make sure I'm actually hitting the right. Yeah, here we go. Now, you don't have to activate these, but, you know, I like to because why not? That's like extra like crit damage or whatever, but you know, whatever. I can't wait for that little update. I don't know if you noticed there how like, because I had a buster uh, um, crit or quick, I guess, an arts uh, chain, it was able to like uh, pretty much upgrade the whole chain by a little bit. So I can't wait for that update. I think we get that in the next anniversary. I forget if it's the one coming up or the one after that. But uh, yeah, that whole update to the um, the chains is actually really, really useful. All right, so easy peasy, next wave. Activate both of these. Back to 100, I like to activate this right away. And also, I also like to do this just right off the bat, just so I can have this ready. Sometimes I've had, I had some, you know, funny moments where like I bring it over in. I get distracted for a second and then I do some, you know, stupid thing like activate the skills before I should have. So you just got to pay attention and, you know, you'll be okay. Here we go again. Second. <coughs> second MP. And yeah, uh, I forgot to talk about this um, this skin on uh, Huna Altar. I think we are going to get it next year on the... Um, what's it called? White Day? Yeah, the, the event after uh, Valentine's. Basically, you know, the, 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 the husband dudes or the dudes uh, Valentine's events, I guess. Yeah, we get the free skin of uh, Arhuna Altar. There's a bunch of others. All right, so here we have the third and final wave. Now, those cooldown reductions lets me do this again. Activate zone skill for 30. And now, because Oberyn is amazing, 20%. Makes 50. And then one more. 50 makes 100. 
Now, I think I could skip this last skill, but uh, let's just activate it. <clears throat> here we go. Activate that, and here we go. Uh, let's make it a hole. A hole, you know, chain for him. Why not? Now, this is gonna... This is gonna hit quite hard, I think. <laughs> If I recall, I think an uh, NA I did, uh, I think it was 700, like 680, I think it was. And uh, here, I won't be able to tell what I... Oh, I think that was like over a million. So, uh, yeah, that uh, that skill on, on Overin, quite good, I would say. You know, extra MP damage, extra buster damage, it's, it's ridiculous. Alright, here we go. No, I don't want to uh, repeat, because we're going to be showing off uh, Melusine next. So Melusine, uh, I'm recording this on the 19th, so uh, we're like, um, let's say 16 hours away, let's say, something like that, uh, from her release on NA, so um, I am very excited to finally get this uh, really strong DPS on NA. I actually, I actually missed her on her initial release. I didn't get Morgan either. Somehow I got Koyanska and Oberyn, which, you know, looking back on it, it's probably like the best results because <coughs> both of those supports are just amazing and, you know, make the whole Buster meta happen. So um, I guess the result wasn't too bad. But so anyway, I got Melusine from, uh, from uh, actually from a, the GSSR from, I think, was it that same year or the following year? Might have been the following year, so uh, I guess like a year ago, 2022 maybe, is when I got her. And yeah, only MP1, but uh, even at MP1, she is amazing. Let me find another clans, Kaya. Here we go. And yeah, I'm, I'm so glad that we're able to uh, have multiple um, support lists. So you can have uh, one with Koyans, Kaya, with, you know, the uh, Bonsi. Maybe another one with Castoria, and again the Bonsi. Maybe you know a third one with like Castor, no, sorry, uh, Skadi or like Waver or Merlin even, with again the same you know Bonsi, but in a different support list. Anyway, so uh, let's switch over to Melusine. Now my Melusine is level one hundred eight, which is you know good, but it's not great. Only MP one. I did not uh, get her a pen skill because it's pretty much unnecessary to unlock that. And, uh, yeah, MP1, level 108. Let's see how much damage she does. And she's using a level 100 Black Grail, which um, is probably, like, the best C in the whole game for, for damage. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Let me see if I can see the button. Ah, come on. Okay, I can see my finger. No. Back out. Come on, back out. Okay, I think, I think I think I did it. I backed out too much. Okay. Well, that was funny. Let's just hit the buttons out of miss. It's the same team basically, except you know with a different DPS. So uh, let's do it. Let's see how this goes. So she's got the uh, Black Grail, which gives her eighty percent extra damage. So she'll be doing tons of damage. Let's see how much damage. In fact. <coughs> So, uh, are y'all actually rolling on her, or just skipping her, or what? Because I'm definitely trying to get her. And uh, I'm hoping for at least MP2, but uh, if things go wrong, I may have to pull the plug. Which uh, is a shame, but uh, Koyans, Kaya, and Oberyn, I would say, are more important. So, um, I think she comes back in 2024 for us on NA, so... Uh, you know, if, if you can skip, you know, wait, wait it out. You can probably wait and uh, get her then. All right, so let's start with the skills. And I have her on her, I have her on on her second ascension, right? This is not the crazy, you know, dragon-looking version. I think this is the second one. Um, so her third skill is actually gonna give her 100% mp charge instead of the 30% uh, mp damage if she was on her third ascension which is actually really useful and actually right now she's on single target mode so if i was to use her mp right now she would just be attacking one uh one enemy i'll activate that just because you know why not whatever 
Uh, here she changes to her third ascension. You know, crazy dragon mode or whatever. And she gets 100% uh, MP charge. So let's activate the rest of uh, the skills from Plyanska, yeah. And again, these, uh, these middle ones, you don't really gotta activate, but I do just because, you know, why not? See, that's a... That's 50%, oh, not 50%, uh, 50 total, um, what should we call it, crit, crit, uh, critical star, so, if you wanted to face card this, you know, this first node, you technically could, because that's a lot of crit stars, but anyway, go, middle scene, destroy, yeah, this dragon, dragon servant is, um, quite good, she's quite good. I don't want to use the L word because technically she's um, she's just short apparently. She's not you know the L word. So um, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see the next wave. I do this. I do that. Now yeah, I definitely want to leave that that one alone for the third wave. Okay, back to 100. See how much damage she can do if I can, you know, if I can see it. Please don't skip that frame. Big, big damage. That black grail. That black grail is amazing. I actually didn't get my fifth copy of black grail on NA until like I think last year in 2022. So. What, what was it like five years with only like four copies of black grail until finally i got my fifth copy i was very happy when that happened imagine having just four copies of black grail never having a, a fifth one to max limit break it sad sad times but uh, yeah it's even more funny because i started playing jp in 2018 and like by 2019 or so i was already having like i already had it maxed out so that just made it even more just sad for NA for me. But anyway, you know, that's, that's just a small story. Activate Oh, this is going to be... Mm, this is going to be amazing damage. Here we go. All right, Melusine. Let's see what you got. Now, her, her single target MP is actually Arts, right? So, technically, Melusine works really well with Castoria. If you're looking to just... You know, kill the boss, you know, some boss, you know, in a uh, challenge quest or, you know, whatever, right? So, Castoria works well in single target. But AoE, that's all Buster. You know, so, her MP goes from Arts to Buster. And how much damage she, did she do? I actually missed it, but uh, it must have been more than 400k. So, uh, and yeah, she kind of goes to sleep because of uh, Oberyn's, you know, effect. But uh, anyway, uh, as you could see... Oh, I forgot to switch out. What's his face of Spartacus? Ah, whatever. Anyway, so that was a quick, uh, well, I guess that's a quick, but, you know, that was the video. Uh, me showing Arhuna Altar and Melusine in the new Buster meta that's coming out probably in about a month. Or less than a month, because Koyanskaya should be coming out in the anniversary. And I believe Oberyn should be about a week or two after that. So, yeah, I guess a, about a month, more or less, you know, for both of them to be out. Um, I would say Koyanskaya is higher priority, technically, than Oberyn, if you want to do specifically Buster meta, because of her cooldown reductions. But I would say Oberyn is, like, the more, let's say, like, universal support for, like, any team. Any team that you put, you know, two Oberyns in, he's automatically like the best support in that team so um you know if you're able to get both go for both if you're looking to just do buster you know meta you know looping go for koyanskaya yeah? if you just want like a really strong support to give 70 percent mp charge and he's the only one that can do that then definitely go for Robren. but uh, uh i'll be trying to get both Hopefully that goes well. I'll be, you know, uploading my roles when uh, that happens. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's about it, I would say. So uh, make sure to uh, subscribe, uh, leave a like. Uh, also leave a comment if you got any questions, any feedback, things you liked or disliked about the video. You know, I'm always looking for uh, good feedback from you guys, from, from my viewers. 
And uh, I think that's about it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.